Hello, the Empire Buddy. This is Rampane, and welcome back to my Byzantine Empire campaign for my Beyond Vanilla. For the. <clears throat> Hello, the Empire Buddy. This is Rampane, and welcome back to my Byzantine Empire campaign for the Beyond Vanilla mod. We're going to continue with the from last time. So, we're going to continue fighting against the Hungarians today. This is going to be interesting that they decide to attack me. I look forward their knights? To you. Oh, I'm worried about their knights. I thankfully, a lot of my infantry that I've been using recently are spearmen. So that'll help us out for sure, but I'm a little worried that they do have some pretty good units with them. Uh, I've been using a lot of archers, but I can start ramping up production of more spearmen around here to send to the front. Orders. You guys can yes. get over here for attacks, March. so I'll try and bring you a little closer to Sophia. No and also, one actually random thing I want to bring up right now. I've been seeing in the comments uh, some people wanting this to almost become just a complete world conquest. How many of you guys are actually really interested in that? Um, I know it's been brought up and I've been tempted to possibly uh, because I know I'm enjoying this campaign. I really am enjoying this campaign so far. I love the Byzantines historically and in medieval too as well. What the hell? Silk Road Guards, who the hell are you? You guys are pretty nice. Uh, they have stats similar to the Trebizond archers. What building is giving me that? Oh, it's the Merchant's Guild. Okay, Master Merchant's Guild. Is that the highest level? Yes, I know I'm going to distract myself. Yeah, that is. Okay, no, the Silk Road Guards are actually good. Those guys are better than my... Uh... Okay, better than my Trebizond archers. I'm going to get some of them. Uh, but I, yeah, I distracted myself, sorry. Um, what I meant is, I know I'm enjoying this uh, campaign enough that I could see myself wanting to conquer the entire map. Right now, it is simply just trying to focus on conquering what Rome once held. That's our initial goals. And I'm kind of thinking, I might give you guys a little goal if you want to try and accomplish it <laughs> as a thing that, hey, if you guys meet this, sure, I'll make this a conquer the world campaign. I'm going to keep that hidden for now, or maybe I will just say it, that I'm kind of thinking, if you guys could get episode 10 to like 100 likes, which I don't think is that too outlandish, or technically it's a, it's a goal far enough out of reach that maybe I won't have to worry about it, but if you guys actually really want to see that, then sure, if you guys can get episode 10 to 100 likes and showing enough interest that you guys want this to be a World Conquest campaign. Why does everybody want me to turn all my campaigns into World Conquest? You guys know this makes it so these campaigns take longer for me to finish, right? <laughs> but it just I'm going to leave that out there. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to continue focusing at the moment just on conquering what Rome once held. And basically, see what thing, how things go after that. You guys, I think I am going to recruit some of these Byzantine cavalry around here. Uh, I don't like this force you guys have here. Thankfully, it's a bunch of crap, honestly. So I can more than likely just beat them back with a smaller force around here. I'm just worried about Nicaea. Ni Nikea. Oh my god, I always fuck this up. <laughs> Is it Nicaea or Nikea? I always mess it up. Anthony will judge me. But uh, I can usually just beat it back with a smaller force around here. I'm just worried that these areas haven't been able to build up as quickly as I would like. Doing a little bit better here. I need to actually give you guys better garrison quarters around here. Roth is fine. Yerkalan. You guys are not going to like me. I captured the Dagano. Uh, you're not going to like this, man. Prince John's a little pissed. Because after I take out you guys, I'm going to actually just grab his forces and just keep going along and probably go out, try and go after Ragusa with him. So, you've got just a bunch of infantry. Oh god, this is going to be a slaughter. Uh, I want to control those guys myself, just because that way we can properly flank them and just help them to death with so many arrows. Because you can never have too many arrows. I, I saw that today in my stream. <laughs> we can never have too many archers. Honestly, I really love archers. They're my like my probably my favorite unit to use besides just heavy infantry. Oh, what a shit position. Uh, this is a horrendous position for us to. Oh, okay, I can go over here. Good. I was about to say because otherwise that would have been horrendous to try and walk up. Basically, just everybody over here. I'll have to adjust you because for the most part. Let's, 
I'll send my uh, my one horse archer I've got to kind of group up with them. So you run that way. And then I want to try and claim this hill. Oh, they're right there on the hill already. Damn it! I'll try and see if I can get on top of the hill. So you guys go there. I'll start advancing you guys forward. You guys go there. And then I'll have you group up with the rest of them. And then you guys will kind of be on the other side trying to distract them and prevent them from wanting to go down the hill. So you'll just group up with them, so then I'll have my horse archers. Uh, you can probably start coming this way now. I need to buy some time for my men, so let's try and move my horse archers up now. Some of you guys are in position, but not all of you. So I'm going to start moving some of my horse archers forward to try and draw their attention more over that way instead of over here. Because at the moment, we're just going to be pelting them all to death. You guys are already losing a decent amount of men. Horse archers. Get a little closer. You guys are going to be uh, struggling to hit them because you're shooting uphill. But you guys should be able to hit them from here and be a nuisance. You're going to hit them from there. Oh, huh, I thought you'd have enough range. Okay. But start opening up on them. And we've already killed 3%. Hopefully we can speed that up a little bit. Because I don't have that much infantry for this uh, main army. But I think it should be just enough with how my archers are. I have so many of them. And I love these Trebizon archers. They're great. Absolutely wonderful. Just going to slowly pelt them all to death. Such Roman tactics. <laughs> Uh, I still find it funny that we just keep using so many archers in our armies. Like, this is not what I'd expect, but hey, it works. We'd get s plenty of kills. Like, there's half their army now, almost. The battle is in Third, our favor. Least. If we remain true and whole Quickly army, ramping up. Oh, victory you guys would be ours. Pay attention enough. Focus on that unit. And I probably might want to actually put you guys back on skirmish mode. No, I just mean, I just determine uh, where you're going. Kind of go off to the side a little bit. You guys a little bit further back here. And I think the prince is actually antsy, getting a little antsy right now. Let's have him rush up and try and help out. Let's see, the general's trying to fight us over here. This one unit. The battle is in our favor. You guys keep firing remain up true and whole I'll get some charges in with my with general hours. here. And these guys should probably break. They're already wavering. This is the dismounted male knights. And before I even touch them. There we go. Run them all down, please. How's everybody else doing? Most of them are actually downhill now. So I'm going to take you guys. And let's try and move you up here. So you can just pelt them from above. Uh, try and just finish running down this one unit. And then I'm going to pull you back a little bit. Infantry. Kind of move you guys a little forward. Oh, th never mind. I was about to have you guys shoot him, but I guess he's just going to break on contact. Okay, go there. Pull back. What are we at right now? We are at 79 to 6. Okay, I'll move you guys forward a little bit. I don't think I'm going to really need you, but might as well. We got like one unit left. Who should break pretty easily. Actually, this is the general's now, so. Yeah, actually, no, this is the general. Unload on him with archers. The enemy there we go. Hey, eight. Let's just get a little Run bit more experience on my general. Peasants. You guys can cease fire. There you go. Come on, get another one more chevron, please. Nope. Goodbye, Captain Durango. Drang Dragano. Um, all of um, will be all Prince John by the victory we have won here today. I'm going to thank you for your idiocy. We're deciding to assault a s island settlement. With just infantry, which is great, where I love the amount of archers I have right now. No, you don't I'm execute have... all of you. Oh, fuck, I forgot I was going to train ransom. Old habits. Okay, well, I will grab some guys from here next turn. So I'll recruit some guys. <laughs> God damn it. I meant to ransom them. Um, I will bring you. So what I'll do is I'll be bringing you up this way. You'll grab some of the guys that are in uh, Corinth. And then I'll have you go towards Ragusa, because I can... Do, 
See, 46%. Can we get in? Nope. Okay, uh, let's get more spies. I'll try once again to try and open the gates for us. And I have this smaller force I was already going to be sending in there. So you guys can just group up in general to go try and help out and take Ragusa. So I've got you guys. Like seven of you. That would fill my army already just with this, and I was going to give you at least two units of spearmen. Just to see a little bit more. Um, Orders. Yes. Maybe you wait back. You wait in Corinth, and then I'll have it so that you guys will group up with Prince John. He'll continue pushing on to Ragusa. And then after Ragusa, I think... Hmm. Where am I going to want to strike next? Because you're going to be basically trying to help me flank Hungary. Hungary is our primary focus right now. We're not worrying too much about Venice right now. Because I've got my forces in Bucharest, which I need to get some guys in here to just be gar free garrison at least. And I think what I'll do... You can't get past them. That kind of sucks. Because Bran... I might not be able to restrain myself from not killing them all. But are you guys happy to leave here? Yes, your majesty. Your ah, there are more mercenaries I can get around here. I love how many mercenaries there are. Battle will resolve Please withdraw, but not all the way back to the city. The will be with us, men. Damn it, they did. To battle. Blessed okay, Lord. Well, let's we siege thank it. you for delivering us. Your orders, noble one. With God's blessing yeah, and yours, we must a bunch of spear to battle. Militia. Without question, we shall Magyar begin the siege. Have. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. Because I'm probably going to try and claim these first and then move east. This area, I'm going to wait for them. Let's see. I wish... Let's just see. Damn. I was hoping you guys might have stakes. If I have stakes, oh my god, I would destroy these guys, you. but I don't. So it's actually an issue. I'm going to try and bring you yes. guys up here too. March. Just so I have some more infantry to try and distract them. And I'll get a few more guys. I'm glad I at least have Byzantine spearmen in most of these cities. That's a great way to try and lessen their effectiveness of those guys. But I think that's it for now. Oh wait, do you actually have... You do have this ready. Hello, Captain Stefano. Let us get rid of you. I think you have a city that belongs to me, good sir. No matter how they beg, let none escape. Attack! Yeah, because once I've gotten this land under control... I'll have... Yeah, because once I have all these islands under my control, I'll have a nice staging ground against pretty much anybody on the Italian now peninsula. So what I'll probably do after this, this is I'll bring this guy back around towards Barai, and then I'll start trying to released. push back Venice with my emperor. Primarily. That's what I'm kind of thinking. So let's see. Gotta group up. So I'll take all my horse archers. I'll take you with this guy. So I'm going to bring you over to the side. Right here. And then I'll have my horse archers here. Oh, missed one of them. There you go. You guys can go right there. And then into the group of everybody else. Um, I don't want you on the ram. I actually want somebody else on the ram. I don't mind you, because you have so few men. I'll put you on the ram. Because what I'm going to do instead is have you guys give firing support. You guys get together. You guys will just support them as they're advancing up with this ram. You guys kind of back up a little. And then Emperor there. You guys chill right there. Start the battle. You guys start advancing forward. And then you guys too. And then you go break open this section right here. Because then I can have all my horse archers just walk on in and start shooting people from the side. So you guys have some peasant archers. You guys have some sergeant spearmen. 
some peasant militia. They had just the four units, and then they have like I thought they had like three infantry units, I believe. But they only have the one skirmisher. You guys aren't close enough. Move up a little bit more. Because you might be able to just kill quite a few of them with my skirmishers before we can get inside the city. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. Cousin militia, the sergeant spearman. There you go. Yeah, pull back. You advance in just so they stop shooting at you. Kind of go Give over to, to here. God. We have captured the enemy's walls. There, now that they're not shooting at us with the Excellent. towers. We have breached our enemy's walls. Okay, horse archers. Would you kindly shoot their skirmisher, please? I'm gonna have you guys start moving forward and get you guys close enough and just start whittling down their infantry. You guys should be fine here. They're not gonna really kill too many of you. Occasionally they'll get some shots in, but not many. Just stop that. Just 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 shoot them, please. Just just shoot them. There you go. Uh, I hate how the AI sometimes does that. It's like, hey, let's run into them. No! Shoot them, please. Or are you guys seriously gonna try and fight this unit? The enemy are Because they're chilling here. Blooded. They have lost half their men. You guys shouldn't try and shoot us here. Because I can just shoot into you with my skirmishers. I don't like if you turn the towers back on, though. That I don't like. But you guys should break here the pretty easily. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and Maybe wholehearted, right. oh, they're all dead. Victory will be okay, ours. Okay, take the city center. My lord, our men. Wow, I didn't realize I killed them that the quickly. Castle. Is there nothing to shoot? I'll shoot that guy. There's only like twenty of them. There you go, guys. Who isn't broken? It seems like the sergeant spearman held out a little bit longer. Oh, there's two, three guys left. Ah, it's the general that's there. Okay, you guys can back off. Get away from the towers. We'll probably kill him before the timer's out. But I don't want to take any free damage. So you guys back up for now. Man, he's we a stubborn one. The enemy there you go. The All of Christendom will be awed by the Good victory job, guys. we have Good won here Healed today. 17 on one of my spearmen. Not bad. But there we go. Now we can just start building up these islands as little bases of operations. So I'll bring this... I'll bring my emperor back. I'll bring him towards... Uh, I'll be bringing him back towards Barai, since they still haven't taken it for some reason. That's like one of the one things I kind of hate uh, so far about this mod. Uh, it's kind of really easy. The only difficulty that there is right now is everybody wants me dead. So, multiple factions want me dead, which makes it interesting, but uh, the AI is really bad about taking out AI, and so they haven't really been expanding all that much. Like, if I compare myself to the top factions, just looking at territorial, I'm skyrocketing right now, and they're kind of slowly going up. Whereas I'm almost at, tw I'm now at 20 regions already. I've almost tripled my size in, uh, technically what turn are we on? Turn number 26. Okay. Yeah, so I've taken about, uh, I started at 7. So I've taken 13 settlements. I'm taking about one settlement at least every other turn. At least. Which is decent expansion. And I just kind of find it interesting that the AI is so bad at taking out AI. Because, like, Hungary was besieging Preslov, but they never took it. And I found that hilarious because they had such a large army, and I was expecting them to take it and prevent me from expanding that way. But they didn't. And now I get to just walk all over. Sure. Can I get some money from you? Uh, offer trade and then uh, make a demand of... A thousand florins? I don't know. Give me money. Oui, why not? My people, au revoir, you guys randomly attacked me. Let me get some money out of this at least. Because I'm not going to attack France just yet. Um, I might... It's good to see how things go with Hungary. Because at the moment, I'm pretty safe in the east. The Turks haven't tried to attack me yet. 
which I'm thankful for. I don't want their, I don't want to be on their bad side yet. I actually don't mind taking out many of the Christian factions so we can get rid of Crusades. Because they can just automatically, well, no, can they just automatically put Crusades on Orthodox kingdoms again? I can't remember. I know, like, Lithuania, they're technically pagan, so they can automatically be a target. I know Islam can already be a target. I'm just trying to remember if Orthodox can. I know Jihad, Through the holy they can. Word of the prophet. But you guys are going after Mecca, so you're not directing that at me right now. Thank you. Ready to trade. Ready to trade. Come on, guys, I want trade. As you wish. Please try and get him. I need trade. assassins. Ready to this trade. is the only way to really get rid of yes. other oh. AI merchants. Because you guys get yeah, failed around there. I am not actually the strongest faction. Yes! More of the stone walls. I love that I'm getting so many settlements to have the stone walls now. My economy should start rapidly increasing because of that. Let's see, you guys... Uh, you can actually get decent units on almost everything. Um, I should improve my port. I know Anthony still doesn't approve of my navy that much. I'm trying to improve. So let's grab you, because I've got one good navy here. Uh, this diplomat, wasn't I going to try and... Ah, yes, I was going to have you try and see if Egypt wants peace for now. Ceasefire, trade... And then I'm going to ask for money. Because I doubt you're going to actually give me a piece of land or anything, but I'll try and ask for a little bit of money. Very well. There is many. Thank you. Very well. Thank you for doing business with us. Now fuck off and get off my island. Yes, my lord. Okay, so let's grab you guys, and I'm going to bring you around to here. Off the boat at once. Prince John, start Come making on. your way up towards Ragusa. And Always. you go group up with Prince bring John. Our troops together. I have so little infantry. I do have these spies here. I'll start trying to push you into Ragusa. Keep going up that way. Because so I'm hoping I can try and just open the gates. They don't have much here, so it'd be really easy if we could do that. So they've got three turns. Got a few more guys there. I've at least got quite a few infantry that I can bring in to help out. Thankfully, you guys ignored us at Bran. Ooh, Prince Kelman. Ooh. Now, I am going to be concerned that this is probably going to have two layers. Ah, let's see how it goes. We shall claim victory in God's name, so I think we should be able to do this. Out. This is the one issue with me having so many archers in my armies right now. Sieges are a problem. Sieges are definitely going to be a problem for us. It's going to take. A, it's going to be more risky going after cities. Let's see, I want to wait a little bit longer. I need to be able to see. They do have stone walls, so they have a second line. Yes, they do. They have a second layer right now. I hate that I can't put ladders here. I hate that I can't do that. Okay, so we'll be using our ram, and I'm pretty sure they don't have ballista towers yet. So. I will be using my rams and my siege towers initially on the outer layer. If I need to, I'll grab my... I can't put it there. I have to put it um, here. Can I put it here? I can't remember. But you guys go here. And then I'll have the one ram. You can have this ram back here, but just drop it for now. Archers, let's grab you all together. Oh, missed one. You guys go here. Um, I think what I might almost do... Technically, I might try and have my guys kind of like hide along this area and try and shoot into the city center with my archers. That way I don't have to try and walk them all the way through to get in. Get access to the opening up on them. Let's see. Infantry. Uh, oh, damn it. Do, 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 do. There you go. So you guys, all of you guys kind of just chill back here with the archers. Do have the ladders back here for now. I, I'm hoping we don't have to use them all on the first layer. We shouldn't have to. So let's start with... Oh, I missed you guys. There we go. Start the battle. Go for the gates. Here. And they are just fire arrows. Can you go there? Yes, you guys can. Okay, I wasn't sure if you guys could technically go to that same wall section, or if it might cause some issues for you. 
So where are they? Right now, they're primarily in... They're actually kind of all hanging out over there. Okay. So far, no towers are active here. Let's try setting you guys up. Kind of... Oh, man, this is... Why is my camera messed up? Kind of right, right around here and see if you guys can open up into this section. Gemma's bodyguard right there. Spear militia. Archer militia. Okay, you guys need to be ready. So we take the gate, you guys need to flood in, and hopefully the general kind of stays where he is and I might be able to kill him. Okay, you guys run into position. Try and take it as quickly as you can. Ah, they have oil. The with the battering ram. Shit. Okay, well, my siege towers are almost here. I think you guys on your own should be fine. So take that section and our men have done well. This section. The gates have fallen. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now the butcher's work begins. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna actually have you send in go in here initially. Thank you for destroying your own things, trebuchets. Thank you for that. Give grace I'm not going to like this oil. We have a so let's have you guys try walls. and finish this section off first. Start trying to annoy these guys. I'm going to let my archers try and just focus on being nuisances over here. So kill men that are inside Our the city. Towers have reached the walls. This is how we do now the butchers work Four to begins. three. So we're actually losing quite a few men. But no. This area right here shouldn't hold that long. The battle is in our favor. And if we I remain need... true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. You focus on the general's bodyguard. Try and focus your attention on him. I know you're not going to have the best line of sight here, but if you can take out the general's bodyguard, that'd be great. Because he's kind of just sitting there right now. The trebuchet is actually doing more uh, damage for the against the enemy stuff than me, so I'm going to let them just keep sitting there like that. You guys are climbing up. You guys have now dropped down. Oh yeah, like, look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it's nice seeing the... Oh shit, yeah. Get off the siege towers quickly. Because that's the thing they're trying to do. But thankfully, they've been hitting more of their own men. Which is beautiful. Because yeah, you guys all go after the general's bodyguard. He has to any damage. I'm going to have you guys start slowly advancing up. I want to see how much damage. Oh, jeez. Okay, for a moment I thought you hit my men there. These guys are actually holding really well. Okay, but I'm going to bring you guys forward now. I'm going to have you try and kill the general since my archers have been doing nothing. I'm actually going to stop you guys from firing now. Uh, at the moment, it's a waste. So you guys... Our siege towers have Are you been destroyed. trying to advance out? Now we must use other ways to break our Okay, thankfully defenses. these guys had already gotten off the walls, uh, off the siege tower before you did that. And these guys need to hurry up and get on the walls. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're not out of the woods yet. That trebuchet is still trying to kill you. Their general's walking outside the gates. Get our there siege it goes. towers have been destroyed. Uh, now we must use other ways lost about 40 to break guys. Our Try to get out of there, but you guys have practically gotten this. Oh, they came over with more men. Okay, you guys need to try and push through the general. I just don't like how they have the oil right now. Can you guys seriously not use it here? I hate that you can't. It's so stupid. Okay, now though, they're moving their general out. You guys move right here. You should be able to get some good shots on him. Go, my spearman! Beat the drone's bodyguard, and then their spear militia shouldn't really hold all that well. Although, thank you for flanking me guys here. What did you... Okay, so some of my guys were hit there. Would you please stop being so accurate? Well, I'm not using you. Drone's bodyguard. Ooh. He's dying quickly. Oh yeah, there goes half his bodyguard already. Push through. Quickly push through him and try and get past inside this oil. I don't want to sit here, not like for this right now. Oh, they're burning their own general. 15. Keep pushing through him. We are yes! Best. 
The enemy general is okay, push dead. through. We have ladders, let's now bring you in. Because ladders, there's nobody really in the city center. So I'm going to send you guys in now. I'm going to move you guys to secure this section. They're breaking, so they should get out of the way. So keep pushing in there. I'm going to then move my archers. Uh, you guys need to turn off skirmish mode. Although, let's maybe try and get you guys to walk over here. Try and run in here. I know you guys don't like being blobbed up, but try and move like so to avoid everybody else. You guys are done on the walls. Yeah, look at that. Now they're all breaking. Please get rid of this. Game. All of one of you. Oh no, now they're just all breaking. Oh, this is going to hurt for them. Yeah, you guys try and take out the trebuchet. I'm going to start moving all of my infantry and my skirmishers in. Because you guys at least just secure this position kind of right here. Right. Right there. Secure that. And I'll move my archers right here. And I'm probably going to set my archers up on the walls and just shoot them. With their general dead, their prince even. Prince Kalman. They're not going to like me right now. My general can kind of just chill where you guys are. You guys try and use the ladders on this section and this section. And then we'll just start trying to march in a little bit. So my infantry can just slowly kind of push them back. Archers try and just take out as many of them as you can. Because they've lost so far a third of their army. I've lost 18 the of battle mine. is in our favor. If we I remain true and wholehearted, okay, victory will be ours. I want you guys to start returning fire now. And try and take units that are sitting here. Try and take them out, because you guys can deal with the trebuchet. But try and deal with as much damage to the guys that are outside in easy sight range right here. You guys are going for the walls already, so I don't need to worry about my archers with you. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. You guys are there. A few kills, but not many. And I'll probably just have you guys, you two, just try and push straight to the city center and start trying to capture it. So it's slowly dying. Okay, horse archers, you want to move in here too? You can start shooting people. And there they go, running all over the place. Ah, uh, thank you guys for just giving up this area. You guys have claimed this section rather nicely, so let's start trying to move you guys down. I'm going to start trying to move my archers up onto the walls up here, so you guys can just freely shoot whatever is going in and out of the city center. Because they're at the point now that they're just going to keep running. They're not going to try and stand and fight. They'll fight me for a little bit, and then they'll give up and keep running back and forth. So, there's no need for me to properly try and face them. I just need to try and push them back now. You guys are slowly beating them back here. This unit's just standing here. Probably I have my horse archers take you guys out. But now it's just trying to get everybody in position so that we can just claim the city center. All right, you guys, I think you're on the walls at least enough that I can start having you guys just start uh, trying to open up on what's left of their forces. Because they only have about one-third of their forces left. The gates are technically not open for me. So would you kindly walk over here and try and open the gates for me? They only have some Magyar cavalry. They have some spear militia and spear militia. So now I'm just going to try and have you guys open up on what's left. Eliminate them. And then I'll slowly but surely have my infantry advance forward as soon as I have the gates open and I can get the rest of you guys in here. Because this one spear infantry unit is just ignoring us. So I'm gonna just letting you guys use up all your ammunition. And let's just now try and flank it. Eh. And you guys can start fighting it. I'll have you guys move over there. Try and flank that unit. It should break pretty easily, honestly. I'm not expecting him to last very long. He's already shaken as I started combat with them. I haven't even tried to start flanking them. So kind of start running around behind them a little bit. There you go, guys. C68 to 22. Losing a few guys here. Simply because this is a multi layered settlement. And I'm kind of taking my time just chilling as I'm conquering it. Because I probably could have rushed in a little bit more and uh, conquered it a little faster. Victory. You guys still haven't taken the gates yet. 
Oh, no. You get the gatehouse. Is it under my control or not? Technically, it doesn't look like it. You guys just go through the gate now? Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. There's a little glitch. I thought the gatehouse. I had to control the gatehouse to move you guys in. Okay. Infantry, start moving forward. And I'm just going to now advance you guys towards the city center at this point. I think I've used up enough of my ammunition that I don't have to worry too much. I can just have you guys start walking in and start taking the city center. Because you guys have a decent amount of ammunition left. There's 24% of them left. So I'll just start moving you guys up here too. Sorry guys, you are now stuck in between a rock and a hard place where my archers are concerned. Because now I can just open up on you on either side, and more than likely, you're just going to waver before you even get to us. Because you guys can try, but then I can just mow you down as I claim your city. And forging a world just killed your prince and then walked right on in and be like, yeah, this is my city now. I'm executing you all. Oh god, the war crimes here. So many war crimes. And I don't even have the Greek fire in this army. Ugh, because yeah, you guys have, what, 89% left? I'm just going to let you guys use up more of your ammunition, and then I'll just start walking guys in. I might be able to kill them all with all my, my ammunition, because there's 93 been killed. The less casualties I can take in my wars, the better. That's how I always view this. I always try and maximize my casualties on the enemy side and minimize my own, just to help us out a little bit in the wars to, ahead. Because... I can see us getting rid of Hungary causing a lot of issues in Europe. A lot of issues. I could easily see that causing some crusades being sent my way. Even if I'm nice and ransom off the troops, uh, it's probably still going to piss off the Pope occasionally. So they now just have just these infantry units, so everybody just rush at them. That's all that's left. I'll start capturing the city center, but there's only eight of them. They're not going to last that long. The, castle. Let's see. the battle Four, is in our favor. Three, if we remain true, two, one. There we go. They're dead. Christendom will be awed by the victory four, we have won here today. Dead. Mercenary Vikings actually did about the most damage. Recovered quite a few. Perfect. Bran is now under my control. Perfect. I need to try and get a... I'll leave a garrison force here, and I think I'm going to have you guys immediately go to the north. So we'll just... Sack. Don't want to piss them off too much. That's what I think I can do. You guys merge your men together, repair, get the Orthodox Chapel first, and you guys at least can get the Byzantine Cavalry here. Can't get anything else. So we'll get that first, and then I think what we'll do is, uh, how much movement do you have? You actually have a decent amount. Because, because it's a multi-layered settlement, I don't have, I don't have ballista towers, but I could hold this against a fairly large force. So let's see, you can get, you can get a lot of archers. Slav mercenaries. Let's grab all of these guys. And then I'm gonna have you just keep going north. So grab that, and then give me okay, four more. Honestly, just grab more archers. I have uh, seven units of infantry. I have no cav besides my general, but I think that should be okay. Let's make our way over here and try and claim Isa Ayasi. Ah, uh, watchtower. There's like nothing in it. That's the other prince, Prince Miklos. Oh ho, are you going to be the prince killer? <laughs> He's already killed one prince. Can he take out a second prince? We'll take a fair well, You're actually pretty bad. Not that bad. Yeah, no, I'll have you go for this settlement. You get in there? Oh boy, please open the gates. Hopefully you guys... I'm hoping this isn't going to open up a flank with Russia. This is probably going to be as far north as I go over here. Taking this land from them. Of course it's worsened. Okay. And then you guys still have three more turns. I wonder if there's anything else I'd want to send that way. I don't think so. As I think you guys in a defensive battle should be okay. I still worry about the their cow. That I worry about. 
But for the most part, I have a lot of spearmen. You guys are spearmen. So you guys actually, you guys actually have some decent stats. It's not that bad. I was expecting it to be a little bit worse. But no, I think you guys should be okay. You can't build anything here. Uh, give me some more priests. We just need to continue converting these areas. Constantinople. Oh, I wish these guys were free upkeep. They are not. Okay. Give me more merchants around here. Need to send them over. Continue trying to trade in areas. And then, let's see. Constantinople. I want to get you... I need these walls. But I don't have the money for that. Let's get the council chambers. I don't have any corruption right now. But it's either that or... Actually, no, get the better of the leather tanner. Get the better of the leather tanner, do that. And then I have, like, no money. God. I spent so much on construction and so much on recruitment. You finish your walls next turn, though. You finish yours in four turns. And isn't that... Yeah, Thanoslonica is doing it as well. So soon, you guys will all have stone walls. We'll almost have Athens there, too. My god, that's going to increase my economy so much. Let me strike, my lord. I will be sending you guys up to Ragusa for the moment now, though. Try and push up that way. Otherwise, I could have you liberate Sophia. Command me. If they don't assault me this turn end, I'll start making my way there. As it is either I leave them be and I let them try and assault at themselves. Or I try and push them back before they assault Sophia. Technically, I think we'd be okay if they attack us. But they are those are some good cab units. I shouldn't take them lightly. If I take them lightly, I'm going to have a family member just die for no reason. Hi, Papal States. Especially since they brought in reinforcements. Okay, Papal States didn't do anything. Yeah, they, they've got almost... About a stack and a half total there. Yeah, I'm going to bring my prince up that way. I'm going to bring Prince John up there. Because at the moment, leave me alone. Let me trade. Come on, guys. Eh? Okay, we ended in a ceasefire. Or just nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, ceasefire between merchants. We just want trade. For your leader. I'll take that. Something Can you ally with me? No. Them. Nobody wants an alliance. <sighs> maybe this is just trying to say, hey. The, the, maybe the game is just trying to like say, hey. You should conquer everybody. Uh, we must Nobody likes you. Speak of, so just conquer them all. Allah is willing. We will reach like I'm tempted to. Because nobody <laughs> wants to ally with me. Close. So why shouldn't I conquer them all? I'll just have to see what you guys do. Like, I, I think that's a good way to go about it. If you guys can get me... If you guys can get the episode 10 to uh, 100 likes, sure, I'll make this a Conquer the World campaign. Because right now, it's actually going fairly well. And I'm enjoying this campaign. And I would actually, honestly... It'd be hilarious to bring the Byzantines to America. Absolutely hilarious to bring them. So you failed down here, which is good. Because you're making 600 over here. You're making 400. Please stop. Stop going after my goddamn ready, merchants. Ready to You're gonna trade. fail. Ready to trade. Should keep trying it, because otherwise they're just gonna just make that guy insanely so rich. I have many fine wares. I need an assassin. <sighs> I'm only gonna get that through an assassin's guild? No. Where are the assassins? Oh, inns. I just need to get Oh, so this is the second level. Just an in will give me assassins. Well, get me an in. If you get me the in, then I can try and just assassinate that guy and get rid of him that way. Ooh, these guys replenish quickly. Two turns, holy shit. This unit replenishes two per turn. Wow, okay, that's nice. Let's see, I think while I've got the money, I should build this. Just before I forget. But now you guys are that cheap. Oh man, that's nice. Ready to, okay, ready keep bringing to them over here. <laughs> keep trying to trade. Continuing on tomorrow. Uh, I think we're not doing that well as a financial. Norway and Lithuania are allied. Venice and Sicilia are at war. 
Ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, Prince John, I'm gonna have you make your way up here. You'll get there. Should we spare any of them? You're not gonna get there. I'm gonna have to hope they can hold out. I can keep sending more random. Get out of my way. Like, I can keep sending more random spearmen. Push through these guys, actually. What is this? Byzantine Spear Unit. I'm just gonna quickly fight this. Try and see if I can get a Man of the Hour. Because if I can get another General up here to help out with this Siege, I think that'd be great. Especially, there might be more mercenaries if I didn't grab them all from the North. That's the thing. If I didn't grab all, all the mercenaries from the North, then we should be able to have a giant boost of reinforcements that way. But I think I did. Okay, stop deployment. Oh god, uh, you guys are really far away. I'm actually concerned my guys are gonna route here. Well, I can try and have it so that you guys can slowly advance around and just flank this guy, but we've been walking up a hill for the past few minutes. So you guys are winded by this point, but I should be able to surround them and then make it so that... Oh, you're there, going on the offensive. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. There you go, guys. Ray fast at the charge of me. But I have more men. Flank them. Come on, get your get over here. We're losing Spiker. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true, I'm doing worse than I should on this fight. Oh god. Hmm. They've killed way more than I have. I have them surrounded. Oh, Jesus, guys. Don't lose to... to our Lord. Our okay. Lord, the Almighty. I was about to say, you were losing to a to rebel fight. general. He was a fucking Chad. God damn, that was close. <laughs> oh, nice this job, guys. Let's see if that's enough to get us a uh, man of the hour. It might, it might not. You captured a bunch. You got the most casualties inflicted. That might give us a general. Because then we might be able to get some mercenaries around here. Please have some. Man, yeah. Eh? 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 Yeah! Ah! Captain Theotokos. A brother from another mother for myself. Ah, uh, there are. Ooh! Dismounted Frankish Knights! Yes, please! Okay, so you can at least come in with some reinforcements. no further today, Your Majesty. Or you group? No, nope, stay there right there. You need to see if they attack, you need to stay there. I'll try and have yes. you reinforce if you're able. Prince John's on his way, but I... Mm, he's not gonna get there in time, sadly. Your cologne should be good. And I just need to remember you. Eh? Damn it, I was hoping the gates would be open. They are not. But it should be a pretty easy battle for us. Your orders, noble one. As honestly, I should be able to just auto resolve that. They are garrisoning up. They are reinforcing Ragusa right now. Mm. I don't like that. I do not like that. Okay, they moved them all away from Ragusa. Thank you. I'm a little worried there. What are the Hungarians going to do? What are you doing with this city? Or this fort, sorry. This castle. Ah, so... Ugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like that you guys have these Templar Knights. I have no skirmishers. Do I withdraw or do I fight? So I could try and pull away to a mountaintop. I have no skirmishers and no cavalry, though. And number-wise, they outnumber me. I'm gonna have to withdraw. Stay near the city. Thank you. So they didn't assault just yet. I have time. I can bring in... I can bring in Captain Theo. And I can have him... Hopefully he's gonna get some more mercenaries, because he hasn't entered into that other region yet. So he might be able to get some more mercenaries. And then I think he can help liberate Sophia. 
Because at least once my army is done up north, it I can. It seems the new world is already Didn't dominated by an ancient culture, the Aztecs. I thought we already got this, or I guess we got that. For it's... a seemingly simple people, I, don't know. I, got, we, I know we got one of them. And complicated. Their primitive outlook belies their ability like to what happened? Did the Aztecs invade the America, uh, invade Europe, or something? The old world has to offer. And if gold is the measure of an empire's might, then the Aztecs are formidable indeed. I would find it interesting to actually have that go through where it's like, oh, okay, uh, we play as the Aztecs or something, we invade the Europe. That'd be kind of hilarious. But I know uh, CK2 has an event like that. Let's see, let's grab this Merchant's Guild. And then Asian Detective Poland. Ah, hi, Poland. Asian Detective Hungary, that we are not surprised. Most advanced out factions now holding an empire. Okay. The Turks and Kevin Roos are at war. Huh. Poland and Milan are allied, and Spain hates me. Your order, one. Okay. Ah, oh, the gates are open. Blessing and yours. Oh, really we march to here. battle. I don't like that. Well. Uh Jesus. Uh Munistikio Mirastikios? That sounds right. Let's have you kill another prince, Mirastikios. Because this one should only be a single layer castle, so we should have an easier time with this one. And they just have the general and then literally just two infantry units. If we kill the general quickly enough again, then it should be pretty easy to just walk all over them. Let's wait a little bit. Let's get rid of this fog. There you go. So let's have you, since you have the least amount of men. Well, and then I am just going to advance onto the walls with everything. Like, might as well. Just to claim the walls. Archers. Group you guys up. Most of my army is archers here. You guys go there, and then uh, you just move up so you're a little closer. Start the battle. Oh yeah, I don't need to you for worry about that. Oh, they do have oil, though. Nah, just rush it. I forgot that we actually opened the gates. Okay, everybody rush in. Now you guys move right there. Infantry. Right there. And right there. Actually, I'll probably move my archers onto the walls. Okay, you guys just move for it first. Get up here. I'll have it so that some of you guys can get today. on the walls to kind of guard us. To us like, now. You guys kind of go... Technically, they can go up on the other side, but I'll go here, technically. Actually, you guys just go in general onto these sections of the walls. I'll have the Slavic Spearmen stay down, and I'll send uh, some of you guys up here. So you guys can shoot from uh, on top of the elevated walls. There. You guys do that. Everybody else will stay down here. So you guys can just shoot into the city center. Thank you guys for not actually guarding your walls for me and just letting me freely walk up here. You're just going to ignore me as I walk inside too. Okay. Why? Ah, the AI are interesting at times. She's gonna let me fight up here. Uh, I didn't mean to have you guys fight there, but that's fine if you're gonna do so. Uh, you guys, let's move you. If I can do this, maybe. Without just having them fight me. To praise the day before sunset, but our no, men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. I can move you guys like right here. I can move you guys there at least and shoot into them. You guys want to focus on Spear Militia? Or the general? Probably lost a third of their army. Focus down on the general's bodyguard. 46 left. Okay, so you guys move up, and I'll have you start focusing on the Spear Militia. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost dead. half their men. Generals at 21 men so far. Let's get the Slavic mercenaries in here now. Because the Vikings aren't going to do too much to him because they're not spearmen. Our men are winning the battle 
and forging a worthy victory. 91. Come on, kill him. Kill the other prince. I want to kill two princes in one day. Praise to our Lord. There we go. My Lord, we have lost control of the prince castle. Prince Nicholas. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won there, here honestly. today. I wasn't as careful, but eh, it works. Claimed another fort and removed another prince in the same episode, which I'm happy about. I have to wait and see what you guys are going to do. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. How many other family members they've got? Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yours, prince. I killed a prince. I don't have any other spies around here. I might be able to move. I can try and move you this way. Let's see if we can find any other spies. Or sorry, not spies. Other uh, family members. Florence, uh, Gilda, Yassi, uh, get the uh, chapel, and then you guys uh, get the better archery range first. One other thing I was kind of curious that I needed to check, my range. Um, damn. None of my archers have stakes. That's such a shame. Such a shame. Okay, well you guys, I need you to finish building that up and then I can try and leave another small garrison here. Preslov. Oh, you can upgrade your walls. Uh, Butras can't do anything. Lower the tax rate so you guys just grow a little faster. And then I have more spies. Oh, I have a priest around here. Try and get my spies to walk around a little bit. Orders. You do have some more... You can get some more Balkan mercenaries. Ah, oh, there aren't any other archers here. But, we can fight this. I think this is actually probably going to be a pretty good place to end this video for now. I don't think I'll have enough time to fight this battle specifically. But we can push them back, and we'll be going on the offensive against Hungary more um, in the west This in the next video. So, I'm going to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also, check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.